Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another Hordes.io video. My name is UDJ and today we're talking about the top five tips for beginners in Hordes. Sit back, get a beverage and enjoy the video. Right guys, we're back and yes, my first tip for new beginners is after you kill stuff, pick up your money and runes, okay? Pick them up. You see these? Pick them up. There is so much money. Look, just by looking down here, there is so much. Hang on, let me just kill all these. Get out of my way. There is so many times that I see people just come into the game and not pick up their money or their games. Look, this items is just crazy. People just literally don't pick up their stuff. Uh, to pick up your stuff, just press shift and it will show. Again, there's another lucid on the floor. You know, like people just don't pick these things up. Look, these will help you, okay? Really simple, pick them up. And pick up all your money. Always, always pick up your money. I guess that's two things in one for the first one. But yeah, you get the drift, okay? Pick them up. Right, we're back with tip number two. Loot correctly. What does that mean? It means at lower levels, you're going to be getting gear that probably doesn't mean anything. Right now, I just picked up this linen quiver. Yes, it's an epic. Yes, it's 99%. What does it mean? Does it have any base stats that I'm going to need as an archer? Apart from critical, none. Yes, it's a knight and find. Yes, it has four stats. And it's a 99% quiver. It's amazing, right? Woo! Is it any good? No. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at some of the other stuffs. Right. This is crit block decks. You could use that over the quiver. It makes such more, you know, so much more sense. What else is there? We've got this uh, item find luck. This would be something you picked up. Why item find luck in late game? You can still use level five. It isn't gonna matter, okay? So always look for things that you can pick up. Never pick up white stuff unless you're next to a uh, trader that you can sell it to. Um, Voodoo doll, shaman. What do again? What am I talking about for loot correctly? Look for your main stat on an item. Does it have wisdom for a shaman? Does it have dexterity for an archer? Does it have strength stand for a tank? Does it have intel in, in intellect for a mage? You know, these are the things you want to be looking out for when you're looting at low levels. Because the reason behind this is at low levels, your gear will drop readily. We were here yesterday on stream and we had, what was it, 18 epics drop. We had stupid amounts of things coming out with stupid amounts of stats that were just perfect. So this is what you need to look for. Uh, this is a great place to farm for gear at low level. Again, it's just here. I'm just going to show you on the map. It's right down here. If you're from uh, Vanguard, you come all the way down. If you're a Bloodlust, you come all the way down and then you just turn to the corner. All right, there is a boss that spawns here, drops good loot as well. So, you know, you can just loot stuff, make sure it's got stuff that's worth it. Like this one, block stamp, good for a tank early level. This is block dexterity, great for a, a archer at low level. Okay, that's tip number two. Right guys, we're back for tip number three. Yes, number three, we're getting through them. Only five, two more to go. Right, tip number three is join groups. Please, please, please join groups. This is a group orientated game. You need to be in parties to level. As you can see, these little dudes right here, uh, low level, level 11 through eight. You know, being badasses, they're, they're grouping up, taking on some mobs, and leveling together. It's a great way to make new friends, it's a great way to get gear, it's a great way to get gold, and it's a great way to level up, okay? Not till later game do you want to start solo farming to get gold and stuff like that, okay? So, uh, group up. Uh, also, if you can't find people, we do have a find party section where you just click this, boom, it puts you into a party, and then starts searching, okay? So if there's anybody looking for group or whatever, anywhere, you'll get it. There we go. Boom, 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 all the way down. And that is as simple as that. It's the quickest way to do it. And with the fine party, you'll see uh, there is a couple of bugs with it, but that is being fixed. So nonetheless, that is what this is. Start grouping up. Right guys, tip number four. Um, 
this is, I haven't really got much footage for this, but um, obviously because I'd have to log on, record all my other footage from other uh, tombs, but I got you a nice shiny little stone glowing, you know, that'll do. Anyway, tip number four, try all classes, right? Um, I found out um, quite late playing that, you know, the class you start with might be not be the class that you rel relatively you know like. You might want to try all classes. Warriors are fun. Mages with those massive high damage numbers. Uh, shamans being OP as heck. Uh, warriors can do like literally tank a faction. Archers with a pew pew. You know, it, it doesn't matter what you've got. Always try everything out in an MMO. And hordes is no different. Try all the classes out. Mages. Uh, extremely fun, you can blink, uh, you, you know, do all the sort of high damage, freezing and stuff like that, CC. You've got shamans with this crazy amount of healing and su su sustainability. Warriors, well, let's talk about sustainability with warriors, literally late game, once you get to level 45 in geared, you can literally tank an entire faction. Um, yeah, so there is so much to learn, so much to play, so much to enjoy, so try all the new classes, well, all the classes out, not new, but like try all the cl uh, the classes out because you never know which one you're gonna like the most. Okay. Right, guys. My last tip for you is quite simple: join a clan. <coughs> join a clan. Um, there is loads of low-level clans looking for people all the time. Literally, you'll see global filled with it. Just type in global chat, you're looking to join a clan, you're an active player, and you will be snapped up like, just like that, right? Uh, to open it, just press G on there, you'll see view invitations and uh, join a clan, or whatever it says on the uh, thing. You can go to the website, look through the clan list, and apply to join to clans that way. Uh, there is so many other ways, um, but... Literally, join a clan. This game, late game, it is very important that you get a clan. Uh, I believe getting into a clan early, you'll make new friends, you'll find new people, you'll find um, permanent groups, and you know, there's a lot that people, um, you know, can do in a clan. You can PvP, you can level, you can grind, goal farm, you name it. Being in a group is better, but being in a clan is even better. Right guys, that is my top five tips for the new player. The reason behind this, right? Um, we see a lot of these questions asked, how do I join clans, how do I do this, how do I do that? Um, I get PM'd every single day. Every single day, whether it's on Discord, whispers in game, on t uh, Twitch, or and through my comments on YouTube, um, what are the five things you would recommend? I always recommend the following. Pick up your runes, pick up your gold, no matter what, and your skill books. Loot correctly. Look for gear with your stats. Why? It's going to see you through so you can get better gear. Join groups. It's easy to level, easy to get gold. Uh, try all classes. You never know which one you're going to like the most. And of course, join a clan once you've decided on your class and everything like that. And you are ready and set for late game favel. Right guys, that's my top five tips. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, like, all that good stuff. Social media, check the description below for all my social medias. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram if you want. You know, I've got a Discord, my own personal Discord. That's filling up like nobody's business. And of course, check me out on Twitch, streaming pretty much seven days a week. But anyway, guys, I love you. You are a horse community and you are great. I will see you in the next one.